So for anybody who's looking to get into the styling service, I'm gonna have to recommend fellas what's up so today I'm gonna to be doing a public service for all you guys I'm gonna be checking out all the subscription boxes that are out there and there's a lot I've seen a ton of them pop up on Instagram so I bought all of them and we're gonna take a look especially around holiday season I think subscription boxes are a really nice gift to get someone you get a couple months of a subscription um, or for yourself if you're interested and hopefully by the end of the video today you'll be able to see which one you like best and which one is worth spending money on because they are pretty expensive at expensive as we're gonna see Like I said, I'm gonna be taking a look at four different brands of the accessories boxes right now, and then later on in the video, we'll look at six different clothing boxes. So the way these work, they're all pretty much similarly priced, but it's a monthly subscription, you pay per month, and they really hit different demographics. So we'll take a look at each one and see which one you think is right for you or the person that you're trying to buy them for. And then they're sending you really accessory small things and you cannot return them. It's like once they send it to you, you're stuck with it. Unlike later on, you'll see the clothing, a lot of times, what you keep is what you pay for and you can send back for free with things that you don't like. So let's start with the Spreza box. Spreza is $29, sorry, $28. And this is definitely a brand that I got a discount code. I think I, I either just Googled it or they, they hit you with a pop-up right when you go and it says first time users get like 25% uh, off or something. So let's take a look. We got some dress socks. Aristo Ties is the brand. Sydney, never really heard of them, but honestly, very nice socks, I like these. Then we got a tie, here's a tie. Pretty standard tie, honestly, nothing crazy either. I like it, green and blue, green and navy. Actually, I wanna see the brand, let me, let me pop this bad boy out. Bedford Broom, never heard of it. The good news is it's 100% polyester and made in China. China. Then we got this, Razor MD, shaving grooming company, a comb. Blenders eyewear, we got a glasses case. This is actually good also, you know, I can use this. I was scared that a lot of times they send like wallets and I have a million wallets. So I'm actually happy to have this because I would actually use this for my glasses in the car. Last but not least, we got this Sprezzo. This is clearly their own brand. Oh, I was hoping it wasn't a watch because I don't like cheap watches and it is a cheap ass watch. So this is Sprezzo's own make, probably on par with MVMT and Daniel Wellington. <laughs> And that's gonna do it for this box, guys. So overall, um, not terrible, but to be honest with you, I don't really think a lot of this stuff is super necessary for the average dude out there. I think the main thing I was worried about with this kind of box, with, with specifically Spreads box, is that like, how am I gonna, wh why would I get, keep getting this kind of thing? Like I don't need a million ties, I don't need a million dress socks specifically. So I guess if you're the kind of guy who's like a bit younger as a professional, um, then I think it's worthwhile because maybe you can, you, you'll make use of socks and some ties. So even though it's cheap and affordable, there might be other boxes that are worth spending money on. So let's try, a comp I think the direct competitor is under here, um, Gentleman's Box. So let's try Gentleman's Box. Similarly priced, instead of $28, it is a whopping $29. So let's get into this one. Care here. I will say the packaging on this one, pretty much the same, but I think a little bit better here as you open it up. Yeah, I saw a little bit on the, on the website. Kind of cool. Gentleman's Box is also business professional dressy, just like Espresso Box. So let's keep that in mind as we get into it. Let's see what ads are waiting for us. Wine, not kosher. So once again, let's let's start with the socks, because here we got socks. Now, socks are pretty standard. 75 cotton spandex, made in China. I love China. Lock, step, your basic socks. Again, I like these socks. Nothing wrong with these socks. I'll put these to use. Okay, so we got these socks. Then we got another very basic tie. This one is 100% cotton from Windsor Tie Co. So pop these open. Oh, classic. We got these silver knot cufflinks. And then we got this pocket square, which I also do not like pocket squares too much. Cool, we got you know, a sample of Armani code, which I do have in the bathroom right here in my very own apartment. Um, so I don't need this. Davey, you will be taking this home. And then we got, of course, this is the shark box. So we got a shark tie clip, which I will probably never wear because I don't like sharks. Actually, I love sharks, but I don't like tie clips. And that's it, guys. So it's the same basic review I, was, I would give for Spreza box. Stuff is fine, uh, not super high quality, 
the fear for me is that you're gonna be paying month after month, you're gonna like forget about the subscription, it's gonna keep coming, and then you're really not gonna put any of this stuff to good use. Again, my personal opinion, not a huge fan, I think there might be other boxes that are worth spending your money on, so let's move on. I do like the trash that they sent with this. It'll make good fire. I'm excited about the next one. So the next one is GQ box. Now this is a quarterly box, so they ship it once every three months. Quarterly. So I got the full box here. It's 50 bucks, and I think it's 190. We were laughing. It's 190 for the year. So you save ten dollars, which is five percent if you subscribe for the year. So let's get into it. People love this one, and it even sold out when I went on the website. It's sold out, so they obviously have a very limited stock, and it seems like it's a very good value. So let's get into this one. The best of GQ box. Okay. 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 Let's do it together. This is like reading a book in school when you were like a little kid. Another piece of firewood. Thank you for that. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Here we go. And let's start with this. Here we got this little Marvis Whitening Mint toothpaste. So this is like artisanal toothpaste, I'm assuming. Um, which is cool. It's the kind of thing that like I wouldn't buy this, but like I'm happy to get this and try it out. Hair body solid cleanser, unscented. So that's an unscented bar of soap. It says, we share 5% of our sales with programs dedicated to the well-being of U.S. military service members, veterans, and their families. Made in the USA, not tested by animals. So that's cool. Um, cool packaging. I'm about to butcher it. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Hey, would y'all look at that? So this is a leather wrap wallet. It's definitely passes the smell test. It smells great. Okay. Very nice. It's this little, like, ceramic valet tray. You just put your keys on this so you don't forget them. You don't forget where you put them. This is nice. Okay, this is half of the weight of the actual box. Harry's Body Wash. So Harry's, I think I've heard their advertise, uh, their advertisements like crazy all around for um, the razor. And it smells like redwood. So anything woodsy, I'm always into. Pair of Thieves, so um, really high quality. I think I've seen these in like Target. They're like 10 bucks a pair. It's like not cheap at all. Definitely a higher quality pair of socks than, than the other things that we got. Then we got in here, not sure what this is. It's like a diamond ring or something. Okay, so this is Breda in collaboration with the best box. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is my style watch. See this, I like this. It's like a very 60s style quartz watch. You got that steel copper color. It's very cool. And it's little. Oh, renewing face scrub from Brickell. Cool thing to have um, for those of you guys who like skincare. Lumen recovery oil. oil. Oh, so this is Okay, this is for like eyes, I think. I think this is for like, uh, for puffy eyes, right? It's got a roller, yeah. So that's it for GQ Box. So, um, I'm gonna give a shout out to Cav also. I think he said to check out the GQ Box. And I definitely am thoroughly impressed with what they sent. It was 50 bucks and you definitely got, I mean, just look at the watch alone. This is a this is a legit watch. It's not like the Spreza watch, it's Breda. It's a real brand. Uh, you got this. I mean, this is what, a $12 bottle of soap. The socks are 10 bucks already, so the wallet's gotta be at least 20. You know, they, if I'm adding up already, you're definitely gonna give good value with the box from GQ. And I think already I could tell it'd be a great gift for someone to get them a gift or maybe a yearly subscription for like 190. You have four boxes of stuff, it's really cool. And then they even think of you every time they get the box. So that's a cool thing to note or get it for yourself. So definitely my favorite out of the first three. Um, and now we're gonna go into my personal favorite box, Bespoke Post. Okay, so Bespoke Post is a personal favorite. I really like their stuff. I've been getting them for a little while now, uh, the boxes, and they send you different things every month. You actually get to choose from a curation every month. They have like different things you can buy, different boxes. You pick, and if you don't like anything, you can always skip over that month, which is really great. I mentioned this in the GQ, I was like foreshadowing. It's the kind of thing that like I, do, I wouldn't know about myself, or I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to buy, but when they put it up there, it's like, I can really use that, that's really cool. So that's kind of what they're offering, and it's definitely for the more rugged guy, um, hands-on tools, knives I've gotten. All right, so this is the tweezers with pinpoint precision. Okay, so I'm assuming if you get like a splinter or something and you're in the woods, you're gonna need a, a little mini splinter remover. Iron and Glory Toolkit, manufactured in Puerto Rico. It's a legit stainless steel, this is heavy. It's like a survival toolkit. Really good thing to have, especially when I go hiking. Um, and that is box number one. And box number two here is, oh uh, here, it's like a rejuvenate. And we got, I remember this is CBD products. And as you can see, they're, they're choosing really high-end stuff. This isn't, this isn't cheap crap. This is high-end stuff um, that I'm glad to be trying out and you're getting it at a discount for sure. We got a, a, a youth serum and then pain salve. This is for aches and pains. 
uh, and like I said, the temple roller. So that's cool stuff. And now let's get into the last one, even though it's the biggest box. All right, so this is their classic thing. Honestly, they're, they're, they're probably their best seller. It's always available like every month, the weekender. So I'm very happy to finally get this. Nice, very nice. Oh yeah, okay. So we got this little bag, it's canvas. Not really little. I can't really tell how big it was. So by the name of Spoke Post, you can tell that the things that they're selling, the thing that they're sending you are meant to be higher quality. And hopefully you guys can get a gauge. It's definitely higher quality, the stuff that they're sending. So it's really cool actually. I like how this is made. It's got like a metal um, frame here with studs. You have the leather trim and then it's like soft on the side. So you can just throw everything you need in there. Really cool stuff from Bespoke Post and I definitely recommend it as a gift for sure. And even if you're interested yourself, definitely recommend signing up. That's my order. We're gonna go number one, Bespoke Post, number two, GQ Box, number three, the Gentleman and Spice Box. And now let's take it outside for the second part of the subscription boxes, the clothing boxes. Let's go. Okay guys, so for part two of the video, we're gonna be taking a look at two boxes that are not stylist boxes. You don't really get any interaction with some personal stylist. You just kind of subscribe to the box. They send it to you once a month. You're going to get some clothes in the mail and you get what you get. You don't get upset kind of thing. I'm sorry for the noise. We're in New York City and it's very noisy right now. So I'm just going to show you Menlo Club and Trendy Butler, show you the outfits to see if it's something that you guys would like. So the first box we're going to be looking at is from Trendy Butler. I got this denim jacket on top navy chinos on bottom, and I'm wearing the lightweight crew neck shirt underneath the jacket. They also sent me this rib t-shirt, but it's not really my style, so I'm not wearing that, and plus it's a little bit cooler out here in New York. The stuff that they sent is more casual and fashion forward, but I think if you're looking for that kind of style and that's what you like, then it's worth checking out. There are some staple pieces there, but in general, the things are, are a little bit more fashion forward. I would liken it to like H&M Forever 21 kind of style. The second outfit we're looking at is from Menlo Club. And this one is 65 bucks, so pretty much the same price range and a little bit different pieces. So we got two different polo shirts, one brown, one navy. Then they sent me a pair of shorts, which is too cold for, this, for, for right now in New York. Uh, and I got a pair of jeans and canvas sneakers. So this one, I got a few more items. It's a little bit more low key. It's not as fashion forward as Trendy Butler. So this box in general is more business casual. I personally like it a little bit better than Trendy Butler because I think you get more staple pieces. You get things that are lower key. Um, and if you're the kind of guy who just likes clean pieces, minimalist kind of style, then I think this is a box that you, is worth checking out for you. Now in general, Trendy Butler and Menlo Club, again, I, don't, I like shopping, so it's not really for me, but if you're the kind of guy that just wants the convenience of having nice modern clothes sent to your door at your convenience, I think it's worth checking out. All right guys, it's getting cold, so I'm gonna go back inside to check out the big guns like Stitch Fix. But before we do, thanks for watching. If you like the video so far, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to have you guys coming along. Let's go back, come on. Okay guys, so now we're up to the third part of the video, the third type of box is all pretty much the same. It's, you go online, you take a quiz, a style quiz, you tell them about yourself, what you're looking for, and you get a personal stylist to create basically like one or two outfits for you. So the style quizzes are pretty much all the same. I've told them that I am into like preppy, rugged looks. If you don't know, like you can check out my Instagram feed, you'll see what kind of styles I'm into. Um, and let's see how they did. I'm really gonna be judging them, not so much based on value and price, but more based on did they match the style that I'm going for. Okay, so I've got Stitch Fix, Trunk Club, and Bombfell, which are really the big three. And what's interesting is that Stitch Fix did not, but Trunk Club and Bombfell sent me previews that I had to approve for what they were sending with prices. And relative to what I'm usually paying for clothes, I'm always looking for deals. So these were very, very high, the prices. They're like astronomical compared to what I'm usually used to paying. And that's because you're paying like retail prices. So again, like I'm not really gonna be focusing too much on price, but I'll put up little poppers to show you what the price of each item was. Okay, so let's go into Bond film first. So between filming this video and editing and then posting, Bombfell unfortunately went out of business, which I was very sad to see. So I guess this portion of the video is gonna be kind of pointless since you can't buy it, but I still think it's worth showing just so you can see what these kinds of companies do. And maybe you guys can even guess why they went out of business. So take a look. Okay. So this is one of the ones that they did in fact send me like a preview. So I have an idea of what's coming. So here we got 
Okay. This shirt jacket, very nice quilted situation. Then we got here some sort of shirt. It's like a knit. You can see it's like a polo y material. Cool. Heavyweight. Then I got this polo shirt by a brand called Oxford. Here we go. We got a, a t shirt. Okay. All right. Henley t shirt by Richard Porter. Then this one. This is a nice waffle crew. All right. So, my first impression of Bombfeld was that. The, the brands are a little bit random, like I haven't heard of any of these brands specifically, and they did go very casual. And everything really can't be dressed up, and I did tell them that I like, I like preppy, rugged looks. I wrote that for everything with like, t I said like flannels. And uh, something to note about Bombfell is I believe that they put in, um, in the preview, like straight fit jeans, and I had wrote to them I only want skinny or slim. And so I mixed those, and they did not send those. And I think a good baseline is what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing like, this is a Flint and Tender flannel with dark jeans from under 510. So my two favorite things are, this shirt jacket. I think it's a really nice style and versatile and you could you definitely wear this in a lot of this different situations. And also this this waffle crew neck. But the rest of the stuff I'm just not so crazy about. Overall I don't think I'm gonna keep anything just because I don't think they nailed my style. Okay, next we got I believe this is the OG Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix, I even saw it's like a publicly traded company. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are into the stock market these days. So here we go, Stitch Fix. So here's the box, everything's neatly packed, um, right here and folded. And the first thing we got is this nice, so vest, it's a nice vest by a brand called Flag Anthem. This one has a tag from Stitch Fix, so I'm assuming that's like their brand, but you can see how it would fit in what I'm wearing right now. Maybe the flannels clash, but whatever. This actually looks interesting right here. I actually love these, these New Balance quarter zip athletic sweatshirts. It's interesting because I didn't really ask for this kind of thing. I definitely didn't put in active wear, and that was a selection you could have put in. And New Balance is definitely the first brand that I've heard of um, in any of the boxes so far. Okay, next we got, let's see, Liverpool LA Modern Straight Fit Jeans. So, oh, this is cool. So they sent me 3128, which is, I told them, if you guys have a 28 length pants, send those. So it could be that they saw that this, uh, that this brand made 28, and that's why they sent this brand, because I haven't heard of it. Um, but I'm also a little bit annoyed that, again, I, I wrote on every single style quiz, send me skinny fit, and here we go, they sent me the modern straight. Next we got, this is also very nice, okay. Okay, so this is um, called Hawk and Rye, it's cotton cashmere. Very soft quarter zips. I actually love quarter zips, so I'm glad they, I, I've gotten a couple quarter zips. And then the last thing here, a nice flannel, let's see, Taylor Vintage, stretch flannel. Nice looking shirt. Can't go wrong. You can go wrong until you see the prices. Already I could see it's definitely a lot more my style. Like you can see they did like a lightweight flannel. Definitely my style. The jeans, uh, I like the 28 and I like the, the actual style of it. And the New Balance thing. I got a little bit of a surprise, but I, I guess I don't mind that. You know, if, they, if they're sending in even things that you don't ask for, I guess the goal is to try to get you to try different things and, and different styles out. So I do like that they set this. So compared to the Bombfell, Stitch Fist is definitely a step up. But I still think that even though they nailed my style, the pieces themselves aren't things that I'm in love with. I like that they gave me some variation for different outfits, but I'm still not sure if I'm gonna keep anything just because I'm not in love with any of the pieces specifically or it's not anything that I need. In total, this box came out to $396.50. And what's good to know is that each box is a different deal if you keep different amounts of things. So this one, if you buy everything, you get 25% off, which comes out to 100 bucks. Um, so, and then plus your styling fee that you pay in the beginning for your stylus. Um, they apply that to your order. So if I kept everything in this box, it would be $277. On to the third box. Here we go. We got the biggest box for last, Nordstrom's own Trunk Club. So during the quiz for Trunk Club, you can upload a picture of a style that you like. So for me, I went out to Instagram. Um, I just looked up Brian B. Chanism's Instagram page and I found a style that I really like because I really do like his style a lot, that rugged, preppy look. And I uploaded that for them as a reference for my style. The first thing I got is a pair of boots, baby. So this is Timberland. I actually do not own a pair of Timberlands as of now. This, these are actually pretty nice, I have to say. This is like olive colored rain boot. You can tell it's rain resistant. I have enough boots, God knows, but very nice outsole. Feels good, new buck leather. Nice choice, very nice choice. The second one right here, this is 1901. Wow, this is very nice. Okay, it's 100% cashmere. 
and it's a beautiful burgundy color, which I really like. Can't go wrong with cashmere, super high on cashmere, guys. If you don't have cashmere, I always recommend picking up some cashmere. So very nice, 1901, 100% cashmere. So this one right here I was really excited about. Um, this is Barber, a Barber like flannel. Very, very nice. And I saw this in the preview, right? So I already knew that I was getting this. And it looks great, feels great. And this is definitely the item that close, closest matches my style. And you can see it's like very close, similar to the thing I'm wearing right now. So I was really glad to see that they put this in. And to me, it shows that they are indeed doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, let's see what else I got. Here's a belt. Oh, I saw it. This is like a tan suede belt from Trask. Trask, I just got a pair of their boots in Nordstrom Rack. Then we got Top Man, okay. Cotton blend, chunky knit. This is just a plain white shirt, which is kind of dressier than I would normally ask for, but I own a shirt from Seven Diamonds already. So I do like the brand. And this is like a super, oh, this is like insane. Super, super stretchy, the white shirt. Don't love that collar, and it's a little bit, I don't know. I mean, I'm not against white shirts, it's just a little bit dressier. So I, I specifically asked for like fall type of things. So I'm not crazy about that. And then lastly, this is the last one, yep. We got this Topman puffer vest. Okay, so overall with Trunk Club, I have to say, I think they nailed the style pretty much. Other than this shirt, I loved everything that they sent, and I think it nailed, most importantly, the style that I communicated to them that I was going for. So the barber shirt, love the barber shirt, the chunky knits, right on point for what I'm going for. Overall, really liked all the styles that, that uh, Trunk Club picked. I'm familiar with the brands, which to me was also uh, a factor. And another thing to note is that they're the only company that offered me boots. Okay, so let's talk about the rankings. But before, I just wanna note that for me, my, my type of guy um, cares about value and cares about price. So for me, I really don't think I'm gonna keep any of this stuff because it's you're paying like astronomical prices, basically over retail prices for these kinds of clothes. And I enjoy the hunt of finding deals and stuff like that. So for me, I really personally, and I like to dress myself in the morning, so I don't really need a stylist. So I really don't think I'm gonna keep any of this stuff, maybe a couple of pieces that I really liked. And overall, I think that going through this process, this is really for the guy who doesn't know how to dress himself, doesn't know personal style, but has an idea of what he wants to look like um, and wants the convenience of having someone put together outfits that they know are gonna look good. All right, so coming in third place was Bombfell. I think the clothes just didn't feel super high quality and I don't think they nailed the styles that I was going for. In second place, I've got Stitch Fix. The brands were definitely better, but still nothing that I was super in love with. Um, and I don't think they nailed the styles perfectly or not as much as my first place winner. Trunk Club, I think, was the runaway um, victor in this situation. I just think they nailed all the styles for me. The brands were great. The, the items feel high quality um, and stuff that I would genuinely wear. I think I would, the barber shirt for me put it over at the top. And I think that as far as stylists go, I feel like they were listening and did a great job of nailing what I was looking for. So for anybody who's looking to get into the styling service, I'm gonna have to recommend Trunk Club as my number one. I think overall, it was just the best service and the best styling. And that's gonna do it, guys. So let me know in the comments below what you thought if you tried any of these services before. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any recommendations, you guys typically give me the best recommendations in the comments below. Trying out all these boxes and buying some of the clothes was not cheap at all, so throw me a like if you can. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.